There are over 100 types of cancer, and each deserves its Awareness Month highlighted and the people it affects being acknowledged. On that note, March is Colon Cancer, Kidney Cancer, and Multiple Myeloma Awareness Month. I'm Cancer Physical Therapy Specialist, Dr. Leslie Walke, and with three cancers highlighted in one month, I am going to talk fast. Let's start with multiple myeloma. Multiple myeloma is a cancer that affects a cell in our bone marrow called a plasma cell, which is part of our immune system. Multiple myeloma is an ugly, incurable form of cancer with a life expectancy of about three to five years, depending on the stage. In the United States, the lifetime risk of getting multiple myeloma is 1 in 132, and there are about 32,000 new cases and approximately 13,000 deaths annually. Symptoms typically involve anemia and pain, weakness, or fracture in the bones of the hips, spine, or skull. Multiple myeloma is usually diagnosed with a bone marrow bi biopsy and then evaluating the different blood cell counts under a microscope. The multiple myeloma awareness ribbon is burgundy. Our kidneys are located in our lower back, one on each side of the spine, and their job is to filter from our bloodstream salt, water, and other waste products. The kidneys also secrete hormones that help with our blood pressure regulation and with the production of red blood cells. Kidney cancer affects 1 in 48 men and 1 in 83 women with about 74,000 annual new cases and about 15,000 annual deaths. Symptoms of kidney cancer include blood in the urine, low back pain, anemia, and unexplained weight loss and tiredness. Kidney cancer has a 93% five-year survival if localized and 12% if in the distant stage. The kidney cancer awareness ribbon is orange. And finally, the third cancer I'd like to highlight is colon cancer. The colon is a fantastic organ and is one of the final parts of our digestive tract. Its primary goal is to remove fluids and final nutrients from our food and turn it into waste to exit the body. Colon cancer is the third most commonly diagnosed cancer affecting 1 in 22 men and 1 in 24 women. There are about 150,000 new cases of colorectal cancer diagnosed each year in the U.S. Colon cancer is the third leading cause of cancer-related deaths, killing about 51,000 people a year. Currently, there are about 1 million colon cancer survivors in the U.S. Colon cancer diagnoses and deaths are on the decline due to improvements in access to screening and treatment. Colon cancer screening is the one of the few screening tests that can actually prevent cancer. As you probably already know, the screening tool for colon cancer is the colonoscopy. Since most colon cancers start as polyps, if the polyps are seen during the screening colonoscopy, they can be removed and therefore preventing a cancer from developing. If you are at average risk, colon cancer screening should start at age 50. If you have a family history of colon cancer, talk with your doctor about the most appropriate screening plan for you. Yes, I am over the age of 50, and yes, I have had my colonoscopy. And to wrap up our conversation on colon cancer, I will quote the American Cancer Society. Make your bottom a top priority. The colon cancer awareness ribbon is dark blue. Thank you for helping me highlight awareness around colon cancer, kidney cancer, and multiple myeloma. Have a fantastic blue, orange, and burgundy day. You have one body and one life. Care well for them both. We'll talk again soon.